हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न टिग्नोमेट्रिक आइडेंटिटीज चैप्टर नंबर एट इंट्रोडक्शन टू टिग्नोमेट्रिक क्लास टेंथ सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द टिग्नोमेट्रिक आइडेंटिटीज लेट रिवाइज व्हाट इज द आइडेंटिटी सो एन इक्वेशन इन वन और मोर वेरिएबल इज कॉल्ड एन आइडेंटिटी इफ इट सेटिस्फाइज फॉर ऑल पॉसिबल वैल्यूज ऑफ द वेरिएबल एंड दिस आइडेंटिटी इज ऑल्सो नोन एज द एल्जेब्रिक आइडेंटिटीज एज वी हैव लर्न इन द प्रीवियस क्लासेस सो लेट वन एग्जाम्पल फॉर दिस ए प्लस बी होल स्क्वायर दैट इज इक्वल टू ए स्क्वायर प्लस टू ए बी प्लस बी स्क्वायर नाउ बाय दिस वी कैन रिमेंबर द अल्जेब्रिक आइडेंटिटीज सो दिस इक्वेशन इज नोन एज अल्जेब्रिक आइडेंटिटीज और सिंपली एन आइडेंटिटी एज वेन वी टेक द वैल्यूज न्यूमरिकल वैल्यूज फॉर ए एंड बी एंड पुट द लेफ्ट एंड साइड एज वेल एज द राइट एंड साइड फॉर द वैल्यूज ऑफ ए एंड बी वी ऑब्जर्व दैट for any value of variable a and b left hand side is equal to right hand side so we can say this equation is an identity now question arises what is the relation between the identity and trigonometric identity so here it is the answer an equation which has the trigonometric ratios of an angle is the trigonometric identity so what are the identities and how to generate how they generated so let us consider a right angle triangle right angle that b and angle b is 90 degree so in this right angle triangle as angle c and a are acute angles so let us take the acute angle c and it is the angle theta so we know that the side opposite to this acute angle is ab and this is known as the opposite side and we we call it as perpendicular p and the side which is opposite to the 90 degree is known as the hypotenuse is h and the side which is adjacent to the acute angle is known as the adjacent side that is base b now in the right angle triangle in as we know that by the pythagoras theorem hypotenuse square is perpendicular square plus base square so in terms of the sides of this triangle we can write ac square is equal to ab square plus bc square now in this equation ac square is equal to ab square plus bc square when we divide this equation by the hypotenuse square so we get ac square upon ac square is equal to ab square upon ac square plus bc square upon ac square so here after simplification this we get 1 is equal to ab square upon ac square plus bc square upon ac square as this ac square upon ac square will cancel out and becomes 1 now we can rewrite this equation as ab square upon ac square we can rewrite this as ab upon ac whole square plus bc upon ac whole square now how it is by the laws of exponent we know that x square upon y square or x raised to the power m upon y raised to the power m becomes x upon y whole raised to the power m so in this way we can write ab upon ac whole square plus bc upon ac whole square is equal to 1 now take the trigonometric ratios for the acute angle theta in this right angle triangle so when we take the ratio of the side opposite side upon hypotenuse side that is perpendicular upon hypotenuse is ab upon ac and it is the ratio sin theta and similarly adjacent side upon hypotenuse will become sin theta so we put the values here ab upon ac whole square that is ab upon ac is sin theta and bc upon ac that is cos theta so we get sin theta whole square plus cos theta whole square is equal to 1 and this is the important identity sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1 this is one of the most important identity by this we can generate another identities of this trigonometric identities so let us generate more identities by using this so when we divide this identity by cos square theta so we get 
साइन स्क्वायर थीटा अपॉन कॉस स्क्वायर थीटा प्लस कॉस स्क्वायर थीटा अपॉन कॉस स्क्वायर थीटा इज इक्वल टू वन अपॉन कॉस स्क्वायर थीटा नाउ दिस सेकेंड टर्म विल बिकम वन सो वी गेट साइन स्क्वायर थीटा अपॉन कॉस स्क्वायर थीटा प्लस वन इज इक्वल टू वन अपॉन कॉस स्क्वायर थीटा नाउ बाय द टिग्नोमेट्रिक रेशियोज वी नो दैट साइन थीटा अपॉन कॉस थीटा इज टेन थीटा एंड वन अपॉन कॉस थीटा इज sec theta so in place of sin square upon cos square theta we can place we can put tan square theta in place of 1 upon cos square theta we can put sec square theta so this equation number 1 will be converted as tan square theta plus 1 is equal to sec square theta so this is the second identity sec square theta is equal to tan square theta plus 1 now similarly when we divide the identity sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1 by sin square theta we can get one more identity so let us divide by sin square theta so we get sin square theta upon sin square theta plus cos square theta upon sin square theta is equal to 1 upon sin square theta now this sin square upon sin square theta will become 1 so we get 1 Plus cos square theta upon sine theta is equal to one upon sine square theta. Again, by the trigonometric ratios, we know that cos upon sine theta will equal to cot theta, and one upon sine theta that is cosec theta. So, in place of cos square theta upon sine square theta, we can put cot square theta, and in place of one upon sine square theta, we will put cosec square theta. So, the second equation. Will be converted as cot square theta plus one is equal to cosec square theta. So this is the third identity. Cosec square theta is equal to cot square theta plus one. Now these are the three main ident trigonometric identity. Now how we will remember these three? So let us remember how we can remind these three identities or how we can write. so let's talk about this so as i told earlier we have to remember the order of the trigonometric ratios as sin theta cos theta tan theta cot theta sec theta and then last cosec theta now we have to remember these three important identities so the simple way to learn these first of all we have to write the order of these trigonometric ratios and first two sin and cos we take these two and square of these two and addition of this will give one so this is the cos square theta plus sin square theta is equal to one similarly we take sec and tan and from upside to downside we place the minus sign so take sec square theta minus tan square theta and that is equal to 1 similarly when we take cos theta and cot cosec theta and cot theta so place the minus sign and square of these two we get cosec square theta minus cot square theta it is equal to 1 so in this way we can remember the three important identities that sin square theta plus cos square theta is 1 sec square theta minus tan square theta is equal to 1 cosec square theta minus cot square theta is equal to 1 now after these three identities each one of them will give two more identities now how they generated by these three how we can write six more identities by these three identities so let us observe now we have 3 plus 6 9 identities are there so how we can remember as we remember the three important identities in the previous slide how we can re remember the three identities so in the same way we will remember more six identities by using these three identities so the basic identities are sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1 sec square theta minus tan square theta is equal to 1 and cosec square theta minus cot square theta is equal to 1 now using the first identity by transposing one of the term to the right hand side we can get two more identities how it is when we take 
sin square theta and this cos square theta will transpose to the right hand side we get one more identity sin square theta is equal to 1 minus cos square theta now when we transpose this sin square theta to the right hand side so second identity we get cos square theta is equal to 1 minus sin square theta similarly by the second identity sec square theta minus tan square theta is equal to 1 we transpose one of the quantity to the right hand side from the left hand side we get two more identities so we have when we transpose this minus tan square theta to the right hand side so we get one more identity sec square theta is equal to 1 plus tan square theta now we transpose minus tan square theta to the right hand side and this one to the left hand side one identity we get sec square theta minus tan square theta sorry sec square theta minus 1 is equal to tan square theta similarly by this cosec square theta minus cot square theta is equal to 1 we transpose this cot square theta to the right hand side so it will become cosec square theta is equal to 1 plus cot square theta again this one we transpose to the left hand side and this cot square theta we transpose to the right hand side so one more new identity we get that is cosec square theta minus 1 is equal to cot square theta so in this way we can remember the six trigonometric identities using the three basic identities and the second and third these two identities we got from the first identity sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. So, the main important identity is sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. By dividing sin square theta to this identity, we get cos square theta minus cot square theta is equal to 1. And by dividing this cos square theta, we get sec square theta minus tan square theta is equal to 1. Now, I hope that you can remember all these trigonometric identities very easily.